Namaskara, I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal from Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Shanti Nagar, Bangalore. And I'm an eye surgeon who's gone in for genetic research. Thereby, we give autologous immune booster therapy, giving fetal DNA and fetal stem cells to back to the patient from his own blood. A lot of Sanskrit and old Indian literature, it has been said that we use one eye at one time, we use one nose at one time, we use one ear at one time. However, in medicine, we don't understand all these things. And so we have an eye dominance test. So many people have one eye, which is a dominant eye. Usually, if that happens, for such people to get depth perception is very difficult. So we do an eye dominance test where we take a red filter and a green filter and we put a light in front. Now we ask the patient, what color is this light? If the light is red in color, then the right eye is dominant. If the light is green in color, the left eye is dominant. If he's saying it's a mixture, then he's got both eyes in good stead. The other way also, is to use another kind of a mechanism which has got prismatic lines on it. So in one eye, he will see lines. In one eye, he will see the dot. So you got to ask him, is the dot and the line in the center of each other? So if that is true, then he has perfect balance in both the eyes. So if the patient does not have a perfect balance of both the eyes that means one eye is dominant and or one eye is a better eye then we need to check his depth perception for depth perception there are special tests something like this which is called a frisbee's test we put it here this has got a plate there is a design on all the four squares on the front of the plate and only at the back on one square in the center so if he has got a good depth perception he will be able to make out that yes this one is a different circle and the others are different as well so they are on one plane whereas this one has got two planes now if he can make out this thickness of three millimeters then he can drive a car at 30 kilometers per hour and stay 30 feet away from the front car and not have a problem. However, if this is not there, then it is advisable that he drives at much slower speeds. And the reason is he doesn't have the depth perception because his eye dominance is not balanced very well. So if he's driving very fast, and there's a bus coming from the other side he wants to overtake another bus he will try to overtake he doesn't know if he can come back here because he doesn't have this depth perception in the place the other bus is coming head-on and there is a head-on collision most accidents head-on collisions are because of this that they didn't know there's only one eye working good for him